Praise the Lord, saints of God, body of Christ, bride of Christ. This is the prophetess of the Most Highest God. And today is July 15th, 2023. And the Lord has spoke, spoken to me about an urgency that he wants me to bring forth. A vision that he has given unto me and dreams. The vision that he gave unto me was destruction is going to come to America. Really bad destruction is going to come to America. I am his handmaiden and I am also a watchwoman on the wall. This is a warning, 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 a warning that chaos and destruction is coming to America. He warned many of us already that Russia and China will come and take over America when we don't know. But we are all given visions and dreams of this situation. We know that it is closer than what we think. So we are warning all who have ears to hear and eyes to see and a heart to receive that America is going to be destroyed. We are warning you all before it takes place. The children of God will not be here but you will be if you are not born again, Holy Spirit filled, walking with Jesus Christ our Lord. You will be in this devastation, no matter where you are at. If you're not walking and serving the Almighty God, you will be here. Please heed to these words. In 2018, the Lord showed me that bombs from Russia and China shall explode in the air on America's grounds. The first one to get hit is New York City. All the brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus that live in New York have been given visions and dreams and are warning the people of New York City to get their hearts right with the Lord. This is unedible. It's going to happen. It is going to happen. It is going to happen. Then they will strike California and all that are around California, Los Angeles, San Diego, San Jose, Jose. all these places shall be bombed and destroyed. God wasn't joking. When he said, for his people who are called by his name, get down on their knees and repent. Repent of not telling the people of this world what is going to happen. Many of us have loved ones that have not received the Lord in their lives yet. This is judgment, brothers and sisters in Christ. Judgment. Judgment that the Lord spoke about in his word. That there will be a great land that will be judged worse than Sodom and Gomorrah.
And I have put out a video already concerning what I saw in heaven on the screen in heaven long ago, long, long ago. I was seven years old. In 1963, I saw this, where I was taken up into heaven. Again, I don't know if it, it was in the body or out of the body, but God took me up to heaven, and I saw so much destruction being a little child. I saw so much destruction that stood in my mind. This stood in my mind. I can see fire throughout the whole world. In one glance, I saw fire throughout the whole world. And as a child, I did not know what I was looking at. I don't like to cry in the videos, but I can't help it because it's so devastating, so horrific, so horrific. But God did this to Sodom and Gomorrah. He is going to do it to the United States of America because America things. They can do whatever they want to do and not follow God's laws. But they're wrong. They're so wrong. The day a man is, is about over. It's about over. We're getting closer and closer and closer to that day that I saw in 1963. And God gave me dreams that it was Russia and China that invaded America. It was Russia and China that came against America for their judgment for their judgment it doesn't matter who you are man woman child they are all going to be destroyed for not obeying the Almighty God. It is going to be horrific. Simply horrific. I couldn't believe my eyes when I was seeing that. That picture, to me it was a picture, a movie on the screen in heaven as a little girl. I can't believe that it's going to come to pass. It's going to come to pass. Very soon. Very, 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 very soon. But praise God, brothers and sisters in Christ, that we will be gone. We will be in heaven rejoicing with the Lord. That is the all hell that breaks loose here on earth. I saw the all hell that broke loose on earth. I did not see um, the Great Awakening. I did 
did not see that. I just saw chaos and destruction. The great awakening that everybody is talking about is the great revival. I did not see that. All I can say is what I saw. The world will never see it again, ever. Because it's going to be the end. Sometimes when I close my eyes, I can see it. I, I can see it. <laughs> throughout the whole world. The main ones that we see us who are given visions and dreams is New York and California and all the surrounding areas. But when I saw it was throughout the whole world. Fire was throughout the whole world. Throughout the whole world. Not one spot was without fire. People that are listening to this video, if you are not saved, if you are not born again, Holy Spirit follower of Christ, it's time. It truly is time for you to give your life to Jesus. It's time to give up your sinful ways and come to Jesus before this day comes that I see in 1963 in heaven. Please. Repent and give your lives to Jesus. Shalom. He told me, daughter, I have given you the position of a watchwoman on the wall. When I give you something you are to sound the trumpet and I'm doing so right now today for it is urgent 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 he said that my people know that my people know that my people know that this is coming and remind them that I am coming. And that was it. Okay, listen to what he told me. Again, the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Ezekiel 33, Son of man, speak to the children of thy people, and say unto them, When I bring the sword upon a land, if the people of the land take a man of their coast and set him for their watchman, if when he seeth the sword come upon the land, he blows the trumpet and warns the people, then whosoever heareth the sound of the trumpet and taketh not warning. If the sword comes and takes him away, his blood shall be upon his own head. He heard the sound of the trumpet and took not warning. 
his blood shall be upon him. But he that taketh warning shall deliver his soul. But if the watchman see the sword come, and blow not the trumpet, and the people be not warned, if the sword come and takes any person from among them, he is taken away in his iniquity, in his sin. But his blood will I require at the watchman's hand. So thou, O son of man, I have set thee a watchman unto thy house, unto your cities, your country, your town. Therefore thou shalt hear the word at my mouth and warn them from me. Then when I say unto the wicked, O wicked man, thou shalt surely die if thou dost not speak to warn the wicked from his way. That wicked man shall die in his iniquity, in his sin, but his blood will I require at thy hand. Nevertheless, if thou warn the wicked of his way to turn from it, if he do not turn from his way, he shall die in his iniquity, but thou hast delivered thy soul. I have delivered my soul, for I have spoken his warnings. Take heed, people, take heed, take heed. God is not a man to mess around with. He is the Almighty God, the creator of all things, the ruler of all things. Take this serious. Shalom, be blessed. We are out of here. We are out of here, we are out of here.